Thanks to the massive popularity of digital downloads, new artists can reach bigger audiences than ever imagined. And our next performers are a shining example of the new breed of classical artists. Both are nominated for the coveted Album of the Year award. But whilst they may be head to head in their category, tonight they are united by music. Please welcome Ridian and Only Men Allowed. Performances from Angela Giorgio, Rolando Villazon, Bryn Turvel, and the band of the Coldstream Guards. Welcome back to the Classical Brit Awards. Rolando Bierthon, Bryn Turvel, and Dame Kiri Takanoa will all grace the stage later on this evening. But now, it's time for our next Brit Award, the Composer of the Year. Look up Renaissance Man in the dictionary, and there's practically a picture of our next guest. Fine art scholar, design guru, dandy, philanthropist, traveller, author, broadcaster, one-time parliamentary candidate, and the only man who can sit alongside Meatloaf on a weekly basis and not be upstaged. It's a delight to welcome Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. Thank you very much indeed. So, our nominated composers embrace many styles of classical music, from new interpretations of sacred chant to grand opera, 
Their incredible talents are showcased with these three fine recordings. So, let's look at the nominations for Composer of the Year. Howard Goodall, Enchanted Voices. Thomas Adez, The Tempest. Ludovico Einaudi, Nightbook. And the winner is... Thomas Adez. Thomas Adez wowed the critics with his first symphony at just 19 years old. Considered one of the finest composers of his generation, the Royal Opera House commissioned his second opera, The Tempest, creating a striking piece of work. Well, thank you very much for this tremendous award. Thank you very much for everyone who's involved. We have something wonderful for you now. Angela Gheorghiu is truly an international superstar. From the Met to La Scala, she has mesmerized audiences and critics alike. Her passion sometimes ignites controversy. She's learned to be unafraid to fight for opera. She says pop music is for the body, but opera is for the soul.